Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be wearing a lot more than that when we get off the plane. This is enough, man. I don't need anything else. Hey, did you sleep last night? No. Dude, I couldn't sleep either. Man, people saw me get up like at six in the morning, and I was in bed like this. Yeah. I guess it's because I'm excited. When I'm excited like that, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't sleep, and I definitely can't sleep on the plane, so I'm, I'm kind of like in a messed up situation right now. Yeah. I can, I can go to sleep because right now, like 9 o'clock in the morning is the time I normally go to bed. We're going to be in the gates like this. I know. Hopefully, the hopefully we don't fall asleep through our flight. Yeah. Alright, this is my next yes. This is my next yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty And you can't see him now. You look crazy. He's lost. Oh. 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 Oh, that was cool. Ooh. Man, the shutters are like, like, like frozen. <laughs> it's so cold here. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Oh, wow. Oh, That'll we make... Go. We gotta catch the flight. Yeah. It starts boarding in 30 minutes, in 20 minutes. So we gotta find it. Uh. Hey, you don't... I wish I had that much energy. She had a what? I need to start working out so I can have as much energy as he does. Yeah, man, you should just come to the gym, man. I've, I've been in training, you know why? Because last time I came here, I was a little out of shape. Uh -huh. Well, the thing is, it's high up in the air, I think. High altitude? We're at high altitude, so you mm -hmm. get tired quickly here. Yeah, there's not as much so, oxygen in the air as there is so in So that's Florida. one of the reasons why I've been running two miles a day. Because I knew whenever I came back here to ski, I wouldn't be able to ski the first day, no problem. Because the first day we're going to be like... <laughs> yes, I know. Why is it that there's no signal in an airport? There we go. I got Pandora. I can listen to music, but I can't watch my Netflix movies. Never. It's yeah. like there's something in the airport that blocks all the signals, and you have to use the signal that they provide, and you have to pay. It's a conspiracy. Right? I think that's what it is. Every single airport I go in the U.S., I can never use my phone. Really? Yeah. Well, I can use it. I can make phone calls, but I can't surf the internet. I can't uh, do this. Well, right now we're gonna take a private plane. I don't see it. If that's our gate right there, there's no plane. No, it's not, it, won't get it. it won't get here to till till a minute. It's not it's not a private plane. It's just like a it's a smaller one that goes to a smaller airport to Aspen, Colorado. Straight to Aspen. So we're we the, the flight departs at one. We're literally going to be in the air for like twenty minutes. That is awesome. That's awesome. We don't have to drive all the way to Aspen. Yeah, because you know it's up in the mountains. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're we're in Denver. I think is Denver like a mile above sea level? Yes, like it's that? a mile high city. And then I used uh, to live here, man. I lived here like fifteen years ago. Nice. Yeah. So you're used to it. Yeah. You're used to well, altitude. No, because I've been gone for fifteen years. I mean, there's. You know, you know what I noticed about you know what I noticed about Flor about about living in Florida, is the moment you get out of Florida. Yeah. Like, you can see everything. Yeah. Look at look at how far away you can see. Yeah, it's far. You know, in Florida, there's trees and stuff blocking your way. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But here, like you can keep, you can just see forever. Wait, when you when when you go up to the mountains and you see the mountains, poof, yeah, where you would go skiing, that was an awesome drive. We drove last time I was here. We drove from, from Denver all the way up to the to the mountains. You and Pago. But now we're gonna fly and just land there. It's a long drive, but it's it's a really cool drive. But it's cliffs like this. You look over the edge, you're like, ah. and it's snowing, so you're like scared. Like uh, the guy that we were with, he was driving fast. Oh, you guys might have remembered. He was. I, I did uh, daily videos. Yeah, because he, he was used to driving in this in this weather. So. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's one thing. Okay, another thing about it, there's what's called like altitude sickness, sickness, right? Yep. Since we're so high above sea level, you get out of breath, and you're if you're the, like I can run two miles normally in mm -hmm. Florida. Here, I probably can't even run half a mile. Right. I'll be like, oh, oh, oh. but then you get it takes you like two or three days to acclimatize. Yeah. But our trip is three days. Yeah, there are three. We have a three day trip, so. <laughs> We, with my with, but, with with our luck, we'll have altitude sickness the whole time we're here, and then uh, and then we'll get home and we'll be like, the air is so thick. I'm gonna tell you the last time I was here, we went up on the mountain. I think the very next day, 
the moment we got up there, no, we went up on the mountain and we started skiing. I was dead tired. I mean, like talking about well, the apartment we were staying at had a stairs and we'd climb up the stairs like this, uh, out of breath, literally like almost to the point of panicking. Like, really? <sighs> like you get tired and, and you don't want to move. And then like up on the top of the ski slope, just putting on your boots, it's like, <laughs> and then you ski down the mountain and you don't want to do anything because you just want to go down the mountain and not move. Because if you start carving and doing all kinds of tricks, you have to stop and rest. But then the second day, I was carving it all up. And by the third day, I was like, all over. No, no, the next day, we took a break. We didn't do anything. Right. We're up in, in, in the mountains. We could ski if we want, but we're all at home like this. We can't do anything today. But hopefully, it won't be like that for us this time. Yep. I want to get up on that mountain and just go. You know what I think we're, I'm going to buy? I'm going to buy the oxygen tanks, have a couple of them with us, and we'll just be... Oxygen, guys. It's pure oxygen. It gives you energy. Because there's there's barely any oxygen in the air here, there's no oxygen especially there. compared to uh, to Florida. Yeah. And we don't we have a lower blood platelet count than people that have been adjusted up here. And because your body train, makes more blood when train, when there's lower altitude. Up high altitude, like sometimes train they, people train like fighters. They train them. <laughs> they do exercise and they get used to it. paranoid about my power stuff dude like I'm, I'm used to like hearing about people getting their stuff stolen all the time so that's why I keep watching what would you do if you saw someone like run off with your stuff I know I could chase him down do you ever see I could definitely chase him down do you drop ever, kick him do you ever see enter the dragon back. with Bruce Lee <laughs> yeah that's what I'd do I'd be like what <clears throat> I can run I saw, I'll, and I'll, I'll, he's running and I'm catching up to him Just kidding, guys. Here's a little trick. Yeah. <sighs> no, it didn't shock me. Why didn't it shock me? Because you suck. I, I just did it before. Before I just like got a super shock. No. It didn't. Why didn't it shock that time? I think it was good. Here, hold this. I think it's good. It's when I took off my jacket. It's when I took off my jacket. Ah! <laughs> Order. Coffee. Want a sandwich? No, I'm good. <clears throat> I'll go get something in a minute. Get something better. Bon appetit. Our party is late, so we're no rush. We can explore the airport if we want. How long does it say it's delayed for? I don't know. I just don't see the plane there. That's all I do. <laughs> That's how I know it's late. Well, what time is it right now? Almost one. one. It's yeah. Supposed to leave at 1.03. Yeah, the flight's supposed to leave at 1.00. Oh, this is... Where's the salad dressing? Where's the salad dressing? Oh, I can take the salad dressing from the sandwich. We need to get inside before we get sick. Oh my god, it's cold. It's don't do it. You son of a These are hard. That was that was like ice. <laughs> Next is oh it's cold. It is. It's only 28. What'd she say it was 20? It's 28 degrees right 28 now. 28 degrees. And I I'm glad I got this jacket, man. The only thing is my my legs are freezing. Uh -oh. And my feet are sleeping. Is this, is this where we're that, staying? Dude, this is beautiful, man. It is. This is beautiful. We got some great, we got some great scenery. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun, my man. Oh. Too bad you haven't slept and you gotta have to sleep. Oh. oh. Go explore. Ah. Well, we're gonna get in here and see what we gotta do. Man. Okay, so I guess this is gonna be the place we're staying. We're the first one. Is this, is this Nathan? This is Nathan. Guys, this is Nathan Jordan with What's Machinima. How are you doing? How are you, sir? Good, good. Good to see you. Good to be here. Oh, good good to nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome, guys. Okay. This is pretty awesome. Ah, I 
laugh isn't the first one. Okay, that's right. Let me follow you in there. Get your reaction. You go downstairs. Go downstairs. Where are we? Well, Nexus, uh, we decide who gets the big room. Huh? <laughs> you want to flip? Uh, uh, toss, toss I don't care. I'll take the small room. Scissor. Yeah, I'll take this room. This is fine. It's a beautiful, you guys get settled, be upstairs. beautiful, right. glorious bed. Yes. I got you an interview at five. Oh my god. Oh, an interview at five? Yeah. Okay. With a professional skateboarder. Oh. Excellent. Is that yeah. the one that was on the list? Uh, Paul Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I was watching some of his videos last night. Paul Rodriguez on the interview. Sweet. All right, let's get settled in. Oh. Dude, it's so cold outside. You're going to sleep so nice. Open the window. That no, don't open here. the window. I guess we share that bathroom right there. Okay. All right. All right, what are we doing? We're trying to find the way. We've got to walk two miles in the snow. Uh -huh. I'm starting to get Up, Uphill cold. both ways. Yeah. Who's, who's this? Mark Freeman. Uh, 409? 408. Ah! Mark, Mark Freeman, who? Mark Freeman 408. Mark Freeman 408 from uh, from Motors Cross and stuff, right? Yeah. That's his YouTube Canada. in Canada. That's his that's his YouTube channel, guys. Check it out, Mark Freeman 408. Yeah, man. He's a uh, pro, pro motocross. motocross. Pro motocross. That's cool. That's a we dog, man. You're a whale. Man. <laughs> I've never been so too much on a motocross. You're crazy on a motocross. All right, guys, we're in Aspen, Colorado. Nexius, however, is down for the count. There was too little oxygen for him, so hopefully he'll be back tomorrow. I want to thank Network A and Missionima for bringing me out here. I'm going to be interviewing a lot of pro athletes at the X Games, so stay tuned for that, guys. And check out this video right here. I think you'll enjoy it. It's just the way I like it. <laughs>